Welcome back to another base video. This one is something I use quite often in my playthroughs and my videos. I thought I would show you guys again exactly how it works and some of the things I did that I'll explain why. But before we go on and continue the video, I just want to let you guys know I am reaching very close to 30,000 subscribers. So if you can subscribe to the channel and like, it would really help out a lot if you are just joining on the channel and like what you see so far, then well, like and subscribe guys, it really helps out. Let's see if we can reach our goal by the end of the month. Thanks. So it is no secret that I love my center pillars for the zombie horde knights because they work really well. If you guys do not know these zombies, they can run across all of these in one go. However, there is a slight chance that they can fall in between and then repeat the cycle over and over. And even you as the player can do it as well. So if you decide to make a quick dart across these things, you can. Sometimes you fall and it's the same thing with the zombies as well. Sometimes you fall, sometimes you don't. It's just how it is. But the most important part is the area where you'll be fighting the zombies. And this is where it is here. It is always important to put pillars going along all the way here. Because when you are in the inside and you're fighting the zombies, all you have to do is strafe left and right like this. The zombies try and follow you. And when they walk left or right, they fall in between and then repeat the cycle. That is exactly why I have it like this. It gives you enough chance to actually kill some of the zombies and you're not overwhelmed by so many of them. Now you can go ahead and have just one or two if you don't want to get overwhelmed too much. But again, there is a chance that they can break these things. The cop zombies can possibly break these things. If one breaks, you're in trouble. And that is exactly why I've got so many here because it's just if in case one or two break. It looks, all it takes is one here to break and the whole chain is not going to work. I've got uh, an extra side pathways to the left and the right of the base. One over there, one over there. And then we have a whole lot of them here, so they have a chance to at least to try to attack me. The base is fairly straightforward. It's just a basic tower and uh, you can go inside it. Here you go. And then you've got a little upstairs area where you can throw grenades, monotovs and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm used security gate to the top so we can shoot the vultures if there are any. Uh, the way to get in and out the base is this way here. You just go right to the top, climb over. And uh, you can go all the way down. There you go. We've got ladders on the side. If you have a space between your base, like this, for instance, if you just have it on solid ground and there's no space here or like a ditch or a cliff and stuff, the zombies would probably attack, attack here when they get angry. But if you just have this here or even spikes, a hole with some spikes, they won't target this. They won't rage on this one section. They would rather go and find the quickest path, which will be uh, along the poles. That is why I've added a gap in between. And when they do fall, then they, they detect that as the path. They're going to go up there. This is all in theory as well. I haven't tested this base. I've just made this base and we're going to give it a test. But I've got pretty high hopes for it. Uh, I think it's going to work out quite nicely. Okie dokie. Here we go, guys. Ready for the Horde Knight? A few things I wanted to mention. I have got some mods running here. It's not uh, anything that would help me in too much. This shotgun, obviously, I'm not going to use it. But I just wanted to show you guys that this mod is so cool, man. I really like this mod. I'll have the mods listed in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, but I'm going to use the standard guns. But I do have some mods running. Like at the bottom left, you can see my UI is different. That's the Reach Slim UI. I'll have a link to that as well if you want to try that out. Uh, but yeah, so I got some mods running and uh, even there's, there's a daisy sound mod as well So things sound a bit different when shooting guns and throwing grenades Just keep that in mind But let's just stick to the, the normal default stuff here. So just to see if this works uh, Same as my settings my difficulty settings are all default Besides the fact that I've increased the amount of zombies during Horde Night. Everything else is the same Okay, here we go. So the only thing that may be a problem is cop zombies here, so we'll soon We'll soon figure that out. See if you can see they are pathing as intended and they should fall down, leaving with me with one to deal with. You see now the cop zombie? I'm gonna stand at the back here. I've also got uh, some stuff to repair during the horde night. So far, it's quite a few zombies as well. I'm gonna be a little bit concerned. I'm so worried about those cop zombies though. It's one thing that. I think the space is definitely going to have a problem with. I'm also using uh, another mod called the kill shot. The reach kill shot. So you can see it's the, t the, the right hand side of my screen. Every time I get a headshot, it makes that ting sound. It's just super satisfying. That sound is from uh, Battlefield 1. 
It only happens with the headshots, though. That's it. And a couple zombies blew up. Alright, I can hear... I can hear zombies to my left that definitely up to something that side. There we go. Take some of that. My aiming is really bad. I don't know what's going on down below, but we're worried about that after the Horde Knight is done. Right, we're not going to go take a look at that right now. And this gun. I want to take a look at this gun quickly, guys. Man, this thing is so awesome. Why don't we have guns like this in the vanilla seven days? I have no idea. Come on, fun pumps. You are doing a horrible job with the uh, the gun options. We need lots of options. I'm gonna throw a grenade there. Okie dokie. Killing zombies. You can see on the right hand side, zombies are dying. I'm a little bit concerned about my left hand side, right? It's possible that zombies are trying to dig, which is fine. I don't want them hitting on the main the main base. Getting headshots like, like one way here. Yeah, it's awesome, man. <laughs> oh, come on, zombies! This is all you got. Shouldn't say that. Can go really bad if, if I keep saying that. You know, horde nights go so well until it doesn't, right? You can see that zombies digging down. I don't mind that. They can do that as much as they like. It really doesn't bother me. I just don't want them hitting on the main, the main base. That's that's the most important bit. Yeah. Uh, if you want to know how to actually build this base, I'll have a fast forwarded bit at the end of the video that you can watch where I actually uh, built this base with you guys. If you want to check check it out, and I'll have a downloaded version of it on my Discord as long as it's still intact. <laughs> if it's not intact. Then uh, you're not gonna get it, right? This is really not the right gun for such a distance. With this gun, you can—it's got quite a good distance, right? So let's just see what's the distance on this thing. The effective range is 30. That's pretty good for a shotgun. Oh my goodness! So so far, we haven't done any repairs yet. So clearly, the base is currently working as intended. We don't have really crazy zombies here, it's just all normal ferals. Normal standard zombies. But I mean, there are like 32 or 64, if I remember correctly, that I enabled. There's probably some down there as well. Could use this as a melee base as well. I've designed it for both guns and melee, so you can hit them before they fall down. Don't really need to do use a gun. Although, let's be real, guys. Ammunition in Alpha 21. Super abundant. Super, super abundant. What happened to that cop zombie, guys? That cop zombie just, like, disappeared there for a second. I have no idea where he went. And then he just blew up. How the hell did he do that? Let's throw a grenade in here quickly. That's gonna be really bad. There you go. Get rid of some of them. Oh, that killed two. <laughs> I love it when the shotgun goes through them and then goes and hits the, the back ones as well. It is freaking amazing. There's a cop zombie. Just focus all my attention on cop zombies. These guys are just gonna fall down. See, every time a cop zombie blows up like that, it's doing a lot of damage. Okay, we just passed midnight now, and I can see that we are doing pretty good. i hearing zombies hitting on things. Let's throw a grenade down there, and then maybe a grenade like right over here. Let that drop down. Let's see how many of that kills. Didn't kill any, which means there's nothing down there. Come on, zombies. I love, I love using this method, guys. The the whole um, scented pillars. It's just, it works so nicely. It's so easy to make, and they float nicely as well. So you can 
You can make a field of these things, guys. You can stand in the middle of them. It's just gonna work out so great. I think I wanna do that for the next video. It's a fun little video, I think. Another cop zombie just blew up. Damn cop zombies blowing up. Let's actually jump up here and throw another Molotov. Boop. There you go. And then we'll chuck a grenade down there. Damn cop zombies. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't help. This gun yeah, is so awesome. I'm so scared to throw a Molotov in here. Nice. Perfect. Although I didn't need anything. This Fortnite's going really well, guys. We're hot boss one in the morning at the moment. And I can't say we are in peril at the moment. And depending on the damage in the morning, we shall see. Come on, zombies. So this is usually like my go-to base when I'm I need something to keep off the, the horde and not die. It usually works pretty well. Like I mean if I AFK for a bit right now, don't do anything. Let's put the wait, let's not put those up. Let's leave it down. Um you can see it kind of kind of does its, everything on its own. Let's just do some patchwork here. Not much damage at all, actually, if you think about it. You can actually fix I've used uh, railings at the bottom. These are railings, they're back to back. The railings are nice because you can actually repair stuff through the railings. You see these railings here? That's why I like to use them railings. Oh, there's just some stuff in there. Oh yeah, this is another mod I got. What is this? This is a scrap shovel. I've got a scrap... Scrap mod, so we've got a... <laughs> what the hell? This looks like a an oar from a, a rowboat or something. It's just a shovel, though. Just, I don't know what the <laughs> Oh, look at the shotgun mowing through them. And I've only perked up three out of five on the shotgun. Hey, there's a doggo. There's a doggo. Okay, it is Hot Boss 2. I hear a vulture. I think I hear a vulture. Yes, I do. Let's put another Molotov down there. Where's this thing? There you go. Problem solved. There's a couple of zombies on the side hitting, um, hitting the ground. You can see they're hitting the ground. Let's give that a patch. Oh, double kill. Yes, is this gun is so fast. Where is that vulture at now? There you go. And by the way, this gun for some reason makes you run faster. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with that, but though no, you, you use more stamina, I've noticed as well. In fact, what we do here... Just press A and B, A and B when you want to... <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to change your aiming. Just get head height and just press A. Go to the next row. Okay, we've got an hour left, guys. I don't think things are going to go sideways here. I think we'll be okay. Can we throw another Molotov 3 here again? And we can. Nice. We'll stop that. That'll be nice. Okay, okay. Come on, zombies. Now I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna say, is this all you got? The cop zombies wasn't that bad. Definitely not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, that's for sure. I thought it was gonna be way worse than that because they can see me. I was gonna put walls around this place. The cops can't see me, but I think it's, uh, I think it's okay now. There's another vulture. Oi. He just made himself the way in. Come on! Almost daytime, everybody! I think I may have survived this! 
but let's not get cocky right now. Come on, starting on the Molotov down there, and then some grenades as well. Problems with the grenades, they're all down. There you go, killed a couple of them. This is the only ranged gun I got at the moment. Funny considering it's a shotgun. And it is daytime, and we survive. But did the base survive? Is there any damage? We'll take a look now. Let's kill off these zombies quickly. And then we'll go take a look at some of the damages. Okay, zombies are cleared up. Let's go take a look at all the damage. Let's see, what do we have? Is there a problem? Hmm. I'm more worried about down there. And you can see, like, if you go this side, they were hitting on the ground here, which is really not helpful for them. Guys, I'm actually really happy with the way this base turned out. Look at this. This looks like they're... Oh, yes, they did do a little bit down here. Well, that's not too bad, right? That's just one block that's broken. Look at that. I don't think that's bad at all. I think that's really good. What you could possibly do is bring this back a little bit more. And then they'll fall deeper into the hole. I think that was really good, guys. I think that survived really well. I'm really happy with that, actually. What do you guys think? Do you guys enjoy that little video? Uh, if you want to see more bases like this, just let me know. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll have a copy of this on my Discord if you want to download it. And there'll be a video tutorial down below uh, teaching you how to actually copy bases to uh, your new worlds. There's a zombie here. Problem solved. Problem solved. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see maybe another Horde Knight with this base, maybe we can do that. Maybe like more of an intense Horde Knight. That was just a basic Horde Knight. Again, this base isn't that hard to make. It's fairly simple. You could do the same thing with Cobble. And as you've seen in the video, there's like not much damage on the concrete blocks themselves. So Cobble would work as well. Yeah, look at that. Most of it was probably the cop zombies, yeah. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps out, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye bye